YouTube channel. And we make kid-friendly videos. We also make awesome entertaining videos. And my name is Demi. And my name is Naraya. There will also be other people in our YouTube videos. Their names and their faces will pop up on the screen. And bye. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Sequoia Creates back with another video. So today I'm going to be asking you guys a few questions about your business. So who wants to go first? And what's your name? You have to talk loud. Uh, my name is Naraya. And who are you to me? Your little sister. That's my little sister. Okay, and she has a lip gloss business. Tell us how you started off with your business. We did start by buying stuff off of Amazon, but if you are younger, I recommend for your parents' help or someone who's older and has a business and a business community that can help you. And also, don't buy very expensive stuff. Like, we bought stuff from Dollar Tree. We got some of our stuff from Dollar Tree. Like, not the products, but... Not the products, but like... All of their accessories. Exactly. That's some good advice. Okay, so that was Naraya. Next, we have Demi. And who are you to me? I'm your niece. Oh, did you forget? Oh. <laughs> a little bit oh dang so her business is Demi Slate Edges can you tell me a little bit about well the viewers a little bit about your business it's it's edge control but it's like glitter gel to lay your edges like I looked at hair gel and I found the right hair gel that I wanted and I ordered that but you will need a, a dog or someone that's older than you if you're a child starting a business and then what you have to do is like look up containers and stuff so you can have the right amount of containers I know y'all just getting warmed up and I don't want to overwhelm y'all with questions how did y'all come up with the name of y'all business so I actually have a YouTube channel Mariah's Creations so the way I came up with that name is that my grandma she said that my YouTube channel that should be Mariah's Creations and Imagination but I figured that that was too long, so I just cut the imagination part off and made the rise creations. And then here you know, Sequoia has a channel named Sequoia's Creates, tied together. Funny, what a coincidence. So, that was my name. And also, I wanted to make lip gloss. Like, I wanted to start selling lip gloss. But then also, I didn't want to create a whole nother name for myself. I wanted to stick with that one name brand that I had. And that's also a good idea. Like, even say you have a YouTube channel, they sell shirts. You, if your name could be on YouTube, Sequoia Creates, and it could be Sequoia Makes T-shirts. But you want to be titled to that one name. So when people look you up, all your stuff pop up. Not mm -hmm. they have to go searching for different stuff for different reasons. Just stick to one name. And that's how I came up with my So that's your brand, right? Yep. Okay, okay. Okay, Demi, so how did you come up with the name for your business? How I came up with my name for my business is me and my cousin brainstormed some names because I was struggling a little bit picking a name for my business. So the names I, me and my cousin decided was Demi Do Edges, Crafty Edges, Slay Edges, and the final one is Demi Slate Edges, and that's the one that I chose because I really like that one. That's so good. that's how I got my name. That's good. It's okay to, you know, have some struggles and get help from outside people, but you stuck to your own ideas, right? Yeah. Okay, so now that we have the name out of the way, how did you guys come up with your logo? Well, can I see your logo? Do you have a logo? Yes. yes. Okay, let's I see. actually have a picture of my logo and I actually have, mm -hmm. actually have visuals. Okay, so let me see how you guys made your logo before you printed them out. Like what, what did you use? So what I used for my logo is one app, okay. super easy, and it's free. It's called Bazaar and I actually got this app from Sequoia. It was recommended. Okay, okay. So you can pay for premium but you could do free and you could be very creative with it i love bizarre y'all i make everything with bizarre was it easy demi to use yes okay so let's see how the logo looks on your phone 
Here's the first logo that's actually on the lip gloss. Okay, it's not focusing that good, but you can you get the idea. This is how it looks on the screen. It's kind of hard to see it on the phone. So and also this is how the one that actually goes on the package looks on the phone. And we also have them in person. Okay, yeah. Let's see them in person. It'll be better. So here's mine in person. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's their logos. You can see she has the clouds in the background. Cute. You couldn't see that well on the screen, but here's her label that she designed up. And this is the label that's on the actual lip gloss. So this is actually clear labels, Avery labels. They're so bomb. Okay. Was that a fun process or was it stressful? For me, it was actually really fun because I like to play around with apps. I like to create apps, like especially free apps because I know there's a lot of apps out there that cost money. And so with the free apps or the apps that always ask you for premium, I always play around with it, try to get a lot of, just use, be creative with the free side instead of pay for every site that I see. So you try to get the most out of your free apps before you start paying for yes. more? Okay. And actually I don't pay for apps. Okay, me either. At all. The Sequoia, she does this thing, you know, when the apps ask for a three day or a free trial. She worked all day on her phone, <laughs> making, yes. doing every single thing that they offer for the free trial, doing everything, save to her phone, delete the app. Period, poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what did you like about creating your logos? It was a little hard for me, so I had to like like mess around with the app because I had to like find my way. You had to learn the to, app first before yeah. you could make your logo. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know what this do and I want to mess it up. But that's good because then you so, can teach somebody else because you knew how to do it from scratch, right? Yeah. That's good. So who printed y'all logos? Sequoia, Sequoia Creates. Creates. And do you guys know what machine I use to print and cut? No. No. Okay. I don't know the name of it, but I just know that I know the it's color of it. It's, it's like a cricket. So that's the same machine I use for my t-shirts. That's just going sidetrack. But anyway, that was good. Okay, so prices. It's a lot of stuff on this table. But let's talk about prices. How did you guys come up with your price list? Like for your inventory and shipping and things like that? Okay, so how I came up with my price list is that I didn't want to sell one lip gloss, like just sell clip lip gloss or just sell one color lip gloss. I wanted to have a variety or inventory, you know, change it up sometimes. So what I did was I thought of, well, I want to make it cheap for people, but I also want to get the money back that I put into all of this. So all the money that I put into this, I want to get it back, but I do want it to still be cheap for people so it could be affordable. That's good. And for my prices, I want for specific things. So the cheapest lip gloss that you could get is a clear lip gloss. And how much is that? Three dollars and plus shipping and shipping is five dollars. Okay. And how did you come up with your price list? Because y'all sell two different things. so. Who's, whose inventory costs the most? My, my inventory costs the most because I needed more stuff to make it. More, and okay. then after that, I still wanted it to be nice. I mean, it, it still was going to be nice, but I wanted to add stuff into it. So later on in the video, you'll see how we package our Okay. Stuff. Okay, Demi, so how did you come up with your price list? How I come up with my price list? I had to add up my... So I thought of high prices and low prices. And since my containers was kind of small, I made a deal and my deal was two for $5. And that is actually working out for me. 
So that's how I got my prices. Okay, so when you say that the containers were small, what, what do you mean? Like, like they was going to be like bigger containers, mm -hmm. but they gave me wrong sizes. I got more smaller ones. These are how big they are, if it can focus. So you improvise. That's a smart business tip. So you didn't just get all frustrated because they gave you the wrong thing, right? What did you do? I changed my prices and had to add them all up. It took me a lot to do it. Okay. So I used my notebook. Because you wanted to make sure that you made the right amount of money and that I wanted to, like, how much money I spent on all my stuff, that's how much money I wanted to get back. Okay. Plus some. Yeah. So do y'all want to make what y'all spent or how does that work? So I want to make what I did spend but a little bit over because some of that money that I did make is going into shipping and I also want some of that money, most of the money, to go back into the business. Okay. To get more stuff and to make my business bigger and better. Oh, that's good. Okay, I see y'all entrepreneurs okay my next question let's get let's just get into this business i want to see y'all work so explain to me what's going on on this table okay so normally all of our stuff is not on the table but for video purposes it's all on the table so we normally have stations okay it's normally stationed on all of the tables that we have okay and what I start by doing is I make my lip gloss. And if you want to see me make my lip gloss, actually mix it all, go to my YouTube channel. Okay, and her YouTube channel will be linked right here. And so what I do is make the lip gloss, of course. And I have this little flower that I use. So these are lip glosses with labels. These are unpackaged. Yes. And these are all my scents and oils. And these are unlabeled ones. Then I have my pigments. And also, I have all my shipping stuff. I have my mailers. I have my candies to put in my bag. I have my little stickers. I have my bag. I have my erasers that go into the bag. What's bags. that little, that base this, thing? Yeah. This is TBK Trading Lip Gloss Base. This is basically the key to lip gloss. You can use just this, but I do recommend not to just use this and put it in a tube because it is very thick, okay. so it will be hard. Okay, so that's why you used some of these natural ingredients. And yes, it also makes the lips soft. soft. Okay, okay. Let me see what you got and what's going on here. I see that um, you, you keep that real close to you. What's that about? This? No, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Yeah, that notebook. So this notebook is where I take all my orders. I have some orders in here that I took today. Okay. So I write out all my orders in here and then I start packaging them and getting all the stuff ready. I have my little baggies to put them in. I have pens to write a letter on. I have my packaging label. Hold on. I have my receipt book. Okay, I have these to put on the packaging when I'm done like this. So I have two different ones. Okay, she already got So I have this little like, like this cutout. It's like a little label. Label. And Wait, let I me see your packages. Okay. These ones, these little circle ones with a black outline. That's how I package my stuff. So these are orders that are already That's ready? already ready to go. To the post office. Yes. That's nice. Okay, orders. Yep. So I have my orders. So, yeah. So the way I make my product is I use Eco Styling Gel Look Clear. The green one, it, it will leave a, like a green tint to it, so I did not want to use it. So I use clear eco style gel, and I use glitters. I have these little glitters. I'm going to get more. So, yeah.
That's how I make my edge control gel. Okay, super cute. Can I see it? Yes, yeah, so I have multiple different ones. I have a gold one. That's my gold one. I have a clear okay. one with no glitter. That's my clear one. What's I, your most popular? My most popular edge control is the glitter bomb. So the glitter bomb is this one. It has lots of glitter in it. Let's see. This is how it is. That's how it's turned out. It has lots of glitter in it. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Okay, so that's good. I like that presentation. Thank you. Is there any advice you guys would like to give to young girls or young people, young entrepreneurs, yes. anyone who's trying to start a business? I say for if you're a kid, it's nice to try to do things on your own, but you will need help. Help from anybody. Not anybody, I should say. Help from people with wisdom. Help from people with businesses. Help from entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And what's and the also, wait, 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 wait. what's the entrepreneur? The entrepreneur is a business person. Okay. And also, even adults. Even though you're an adult, you're grown, you still need help. Everybody needs a little bit of help once in a while. So don't just like, I got this, I got this, I got this on my own. It's good to have that confidence. But sometimes people get a little too much confidence. Get more confidence. Oh, Demi, what advice would you like to give to a young entrepreneur? The advice that I like to give to entrepreneurs is you have to like focus and it takes a lot of practice to like take down orders and package them, buy all the stuff. So that's why you have to have somebody they believe in you, they trust you, and they can help you and be by your side as you're doing it, can help you out. So how do you make time for your business? Like, at what time of the day do you do your TikToks and what time of the, of the day do you do your business stuff? So, since <laughs> it is the summer and we are kids, we, we have all day. But it is the time where we wanna go outside, we wanna play, we wanna be on our phones. So mostly, every day, we wake up in the morning, get ready, see if we have any orders. If we have any orders in the morning, as soon as we wake up, we brush our teeth, we wash our face, we eat, we take a shower, and we get right to business. We come down here, we start making our product, we start packaging. What I do is, so when I get up in the morning, I will like check my phone, Instead of having the orders that I go upstairs and do my daily routine. And then when I come back down, I will check my phone again and see who ordered some stuff. And then I will write all that down in my notebook. And I will do that and I will add all my totals together. And I will like take time off my phone and just be like, oh, let me, let's go and package some orders so it won't be late. When we take them to the post office. Okay. I have something to say. I have two things. We go to the post office on Friday. So if you do order from us, just know that your package is not going to come right away. But it will be there by the next week. Because we do have a lot of orders from a lot of people. And we're not going to be going to the post office every day because we can't drive. And the person that takes us can't always take time out of the day every day to go to the post office. Mm. And also, another word of advice, your business is not going to pop off right away. Mm. It, it's not. You have but how to, do you stay for? You have to work hard. You have to be patient. So Koya, some days, she posts her um, grease every day, all through the day, no orders. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but That's real. That's real. 
Some days is your day, some days is not. You just have to be patient. <laughs> that was so. Good. Yeah, that's some yeah, good advice. Some more advice that I have. I have that it's gonna. It's not gonna take a long time, but at the same time, it will. You just have to practice and keep focus. And like I say, you have to have somebody on the side that's going to help you out. What, when you say practice, what do you mean by practice? Like practice on how to like be sell patient. your stuff oh, and yeah. how to like take the order mm -hmm. and not be like, oh, here you go. That So be professional. Yeah, like don't be disrespectful with it. Just here you go and take their order. Always have a notebook and a pen or something to write with always with you yeah. and also like when we giving you our advice when we give advice this is what we know this is what happens like when Demi says practice she she had to practice on how when people ask questions we have to prepare for when people are ready to give us this buttload of questions about our businesses so we sat there we talked to our family they sat there and acted like they were customers we had to practice how to be professional we had to practice how to keep together we had to practice how to keep it straightforward how to not dodge questions how to know what is happening with our business having to know what's going on around us and don't let nobody cheat you out your money okay right. period like, we literally had to go through everything okay and another so our stuff right and another we don't want to get cheated out our money sorry excuse wait me. what was that one rule about the money don't your... let no if you to take in orders people need to give you the money first before you give the product because people just take your product and run people just take your product and run you you don't get any money for that <laughs> <laughs> like it took so much for me to get and understand how to deal this and don't let nobody cheat you out your money and just take your money and try for example to so stop. when i so give me an example of something that a person would try to do to play you out your money when you tell somebody your price they'll try to tell you their price and try to cheat you out your money and that's what you don't want so you have to speak up don't be scared and don't talk quiet. Don't do that. <laughs> you have to speak up and, and be tell them and okay. be confident and trust yourself and believe in yourself that you got this and you're not going to let nobody cheat you out your money because this is your business and you're going to believe yourself. Okay. And another thing, another example is how people teach you about your money. Oh, I'll just place the order now. Then when it's time for them to get the order, oh, I don't have the money now. Okay, well then we don't have your lip gloss or your edge control now. You have to, it. you will get other orders. If somebody don't have that money right now, don't even hold that order aside. Like, you can always make more. You can always bring in more. But those people who are ready to pay their money now, you, you want to take in those customers, not the customers who say, put that aside for me, um, I don't have my money now. You wait for them to collect their coins and then you can put, you can make more and then get them nice stuff. Because that's how people normally get cheated out their money. They be holding it to the side and then... And then they don't be having no more lip gloss because they holding it to the side for somebody else who don't even, haven't even paid. Yeah. So yeah, don't do that. Don't let nobody cheat you out your money. Believe in yourself. You got this. So all right, y'all. So that's it for the question. Now we're just about to show y'all how we package our orders, and we act right now. I'm actually packaging a real order, so let's get started. Okay, y'all. Okay, so we're about to fast forward this part. No more talking. Y'all just see the magic itself. Okay, so they're going to show you how they will package their order.
when y'all saw me packaging, y'all saw the receipt. So I do give receipts. I also do have a notebook with all my orders in it. But just to make it more professional, more efficient, I do give a receipt so you know what you pay for because a lot of people like to keep receipts to know what they buy. Yes. So this is the end of the video and that was a little bit about our business and us packaging our orders. And if you want to learn a little bit more about our business, follow my Instagram at Narias underscore creations and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Narias Creations. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and, can and you can follow me on TikTok down below. Peace!